Angela Bell, who's a winemaker and a lifestyle expert, is here to celebrate the Day of the Dead with us. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to show you some fun things today. I am too. Okay, so first of all, what is your personal connection to the Day of the Dead? Well, I am lucky enough to have married into a Latino family. Mm -hmm. So for 18 years now, I've been learning about all these beautiful traditions and all the amazing food. And yes. we've begun to incorporate that into my work at LaBelle Winery. So I'm a winemaker by trade. All right. And we own restaurants and event centers under the LaBelle Winery umbrella. There's a lot of place to party and celebrate. <laughs> and we're always creating these beautiful celebrations. And so weaving these family traditions into our work at the winery has also been really important to us. Oh, how neat. Okay, so you've got a mole sauce here. Yes. Made with wine. That's you gotta right. you got to tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, so, you know, I'm a winemaker, but I love to cook, mm -hmm. and I mostly love to show people how to bring those two things together. With wine as a main ingredient in your cooking, you can really elevate your cooking game, impress your friends, and really make you look like a culinary genius in the kitchen. So wine as a main ingredient, substituting for some of the other liquids that would be in the recipe, okay. really make everything taste just a little more layered, a little more special. Yeah, for people who don't know what mole sauce is, it, yeah. it is one of my favorites. Work kind of some of the flavors incorporated into a mole? So a mole, it can be a very complicated recipe to make, but you can jump on my website and see that we've kind of broken it down to a really easy blender recipe. Oh, that helps. Yes, it does, because <laughs> it cuts out the time. But um, it's peppers, all kinds of peppers, spices from Mexico, um, chocolate, which is a great mm -hmm. thing in a savory sauce. It's kind of counterintuitive, but it's yeah. wonderful in a savory application. And then we, of course, bring red wine to it. Okay. And the LaBelle Winery red wine really um, makes this pop. Nice. Yeah. And you're also mm -hmm. making tortillas. We sure are. And if you're going to celebrate Day of the Dead, mm -hmm. which is not a scary holiday, that Dia de los Muertos is not. Some people think it is because of all the skulls, but it is not scary. You're honoring. You, People. that's exactly right. You're honoring your ancestors, your an your loved ones who've passed, and so you bring photos of them. You build an altar that honors them with foods that they loved or recipes you've passed down from generation to generation. And if you're going to make a celebration this special, you may as well make your own homemade tortillas. Yes. If there's ever a day to make homemade tortillas, it's Dia de los Muertos. Uh -huh. And so we did that today. These are um, great looking. You can roll them They're out beautiful. thin, or you can keep them a little bit thicker. Um, they're very easy to make. The recipe is on my website. Okay, and how can people find you? Uh, uh, you can find me at amylabelle.com okay. or uh, at amylabellewinemaker on Instagram. Okay. Or you can go to the LaBelle Winery website, which is labellewinery.com. All these recipes can be found there. Okay. These Amy. are awesome for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> uh, always tortillas for breakfast. Amy, thank you for joining us this morning. I wish we had more time. Um, but Amy, let you guys know where you can find some of these recipes.